All right, so we are going to write the equation in the standard form for this ellipse here. Um, and all we know right away is where the foci are and where the um, vertices are. So uh, we'll, we should be able to derive everything we need from that information. Here's an equation for an ellipse that is at the center HK um, and it's horizontal meaning that the major axis or the longest axis is is horizontal um, if this were a vertical ellipse you would switch the position of A and B uh, cause A, A is always longer than B uh, so if it's vertical the A is you know it's gonna be vertical yeah okay so well, this is a horizontal ellipse we're gonna focus on this uh, just keep in mind if if it's vertical, um, switch your A and B, um, and then flip this in your mind. Okay, so let's just write the coordinates of of these four points that we're given. Um, so we've got one, two, three, one, two. So this focus is at the point three, two. Uh, this vertex is at. Uh, Four, five, six, two. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Negative five, two. Where this focus is, and then this vertex. Uh, six, seven, eight. Negative eight, two. Okay. Um, we are, okay, so what do we need to write this equation? We need uh, HK, which is simply the coordinates of the center. We need A, which is the distance from uh, a vertex to the center. And we need B, uh, which is this other length, the distance from the center, um, the shortest distance from the center to the ellipse. Um, so it's on the, it's half of the, uh, minor axis. Um, so let's see what we can derive from this situation. So let's uh, let's just start with the center. That's pretty easy. So the center is going to be halfway between the two foci. So what what do we have here? We go from negative five to three. So this this length is is eight units. So it's going to be four units away from each each uh, focus, so one, two, three, four, uh, you know, one, two, three, four. So there's the center. So what are the coordinates of the center? We've got negative one, two. So doing good so far, negative one, two. That's, those are the coordinates of the center of the ellipse. Um, okay, we need A and B. So uh, A we can figure out pretty easily. The A is the distance from the center to the vertex. So what is that distance? So we're going from here to here, this distance. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. A equals seven. Right? Or or in other words, um, if this center is negative one, two, the um, you know you could do the distance formula of these points. It's pretty easy though because they're at, they're at the same um, y coordinate, so really you need to just focus on the x coordinate. So to go from negative one to negative eight is seven units. Um, yeah. So you know if your if your ellipse, you know I hope your teachers don't do this to you. But if your ellipse is you know like rotated, um, you know you might need the distance formula to figure out the distance between the center and the um, um, vertex. And likewise, t you might need the midpoint formula to figure out exactly halfway between the two foci to get the center. Uh, uh, but hopefully, um, you know, we're, we're using just a you know, pretty, pretty harmless ellipse that's uh, aligned with the x-axis here. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're going with a simplified situation. But if you need to, you, you'll be able to figure out um, you know, the midpoint and the distance. Okay, so continue on. So we know A. What we need is B. 
Um, so what is it? B, B is this distance. We don't we don't know that um, as such, but we can figure out C very easily. And B, A, B, and C relate in this way. So let's figure out what C is, um, given what we know. So C is the distance from the center to the vertex. So 1, 2, 3, 4. C is 4. So B squared is equal to A squared uh, minus C squared. So A squared is 49. C squared is 16. So 49 minus 16, what is that? Um, so 43, 33. B squared equals 33. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to leave that. So B is this, you know, all right. We could say B is the square root of 33, but we're just going to square it again in the equation. So we'll just say it's 33 when the time comes. Um, okay, so we've got A, we've got B, we've got H, and we've got K, and that that is all we need. And we got the fact that this is horizontal, so we know this is the right form. If it's vertical, we just switch A and B. And um, that should be it. So let's write our equation. Um, so I'm going to switch up colors for that, because that's exciting. So we've got um, x uh, minus h. So h is negative 1. So minus negative 1 would be plus 1. You can write minus negative 1 if you want. I'm, I'm going to call that x plus 1. Uh, squared over a squared. a is 7. So a squared would be 49. Uh, plus y uh, minus k, k is 2, so y minus 2 squared over b squared, b squared is 33. In other words, b is the square root of 33, so b squared is 33 equals 1. That's it. Um, all right, so good luck um, finding equations for ellipses. And hope you have fun. They're, 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 they're kind of fun. They can, they can look a little complicated sometimes, but don't panic. All right, good luck.